Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for checking out the episode. I'm RJ. Before we get into it, I just want to give a quick shout out to all the new subscribers here at the channel. We're going to have a big event on both Xbox One and PS4 this weekend, so hit the notification bell. That'll let you know as soon as they begin. We got some mysterious stuff to look at in Red Dead Redemption 2, including two cabins that seem very similar. You got the Reed and the Deer Cottages. You can find them right here. There's the Deer Cottage, and here is the Reed Cottage. Let's start off with the Deer Cabin. And I also have to show you a possible room for expansion in Red Dead Online, so stay tuned. You have to see that. So we got to give a massive shout out to Mr. Slipshoe, who just told me about this. I find it highly interesting. So you got the lettuce, freshly grown outside. Everything is in pretty good shape. You go inside, and you can see some freshly eaten food take a good look at this stove right here notice the details and everything about it you also got a hole in the wall right next to it now over here you can see that the fire is currently in operation and you got a clock that clock should also look very similar to you in a moment so there you go take a good look around remember it and now we're gonna move to the next cabin right across the ridge these cabins are connected to the Bennett brothers which eventually does lead to a treasure but I think this is something else all right here we are which one is this again I think it's the Reed cottage yes so the deer cottage is the first one and this is the Reed cottage now if you go around you can see how things are not in very good condition there is no lettuce but it looks the same you see that there's slight differences but the interior is pretty much the same no food the same hole there the same oven but there's a ton of cobwebs you see why I think it might have something to do with time travel everything seems to be identical there is no fire see how the clock is exactly the same except you got cobwebs all over the place there is one picture that you cannot find in the other cabin I think that this is the Bennett brothers again it may lead you to gold but it seems like the cabin might be something else. I don't know. Y'all have to let me know what you think. Now, inside the chimney, this is where you can find the treasure map. The treasure itself is the one right above the Elysian pool. I've showed it off here at the channel. It seems like there's multiple clues leading to that treasure. But apparently, uh, this is the sketched map from the Bennett brothers that leads you there as well. You can see the X on the tree if that looks familiar. I'll put a link in the description if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. You have two cabins that are completely identical. Only one seems to be further ahead in time. So get one last look. I'm going to meet you back at the first cabin. Once again, much love to Mr. Slipshoe. So there's a couple key differences that I want to point out. The first one is the lattice work on the windows. It may not seem like much, but that is not on the other cabin. And I think it could be showing the butterfly effect. Take a look at the colors. One is red, but this cabin is blue. So maybe it's not time travel. It is the butterfly effect, which is represented with the deer and the reed cottage. So nothing really else to point out. Everything looks to be in pristine condition. Not too many cobwebs or nothing like that. While the other cabin seems like it hasn't been touched in years. So let's take a look at the butterfly effect. Here it says, in chaos theory, the butterfly effect is the sensitive dependence on initial conditions in which a small change in one state of a deterministic nonlinear system can result in a large difference in a later state. A very small change in initial conditions had created a significantly different outcome. Here's a more simplistic explanation. It says the butterfly effect is an idea that is more commonly used in chaos theory. A small change can make much bigger changes happen. One small incident can have a big impact on the future. The term butterfly effect comes from an analogy where a butterfly flaps its wings in Chicago and a tornado occurs in Tokyo. One more says the butterfly effect is the idea that small things can have nonlinear impacts on a complex system. The concept is imagined with a butterfly flapping its wings and causing a typhoon. He created a small system in his lab to study convection. Uh, basically, there's been scientists much smarter than all of us who looked very deeply into this. So you could have that one small change 
change the cabin from old to new and of course from lattice work to no lattice work just small differences can be caused by one minor change that maybe happened to the Bennett brothers I know it's trippy and it's hard to comprehend but I think maybe the butterfly effect is what's going on there one cabin looks new the other cabin looks abandoned and it hasn't been touched in years I think it's the butterfly effect but definitely let me know in the comment section below what you think is happening with the reed and the deer cottage the fact that the names are reversed kind of a butterfly effect in itself seems to be the biggest clue for me now there's one more thing we have to look at huge shout out to one of the trippy mods alva kind she caught some epic footage inside the moonshine shack i believe that this proves that there could be an expansion coming to that moonshine shack now it's been a while since we've gotten an update to the outlaw pass or any dlc and red dead online altogether. i think it's been since last year so i have no idea what rockstar is doing you think with everybody locked down and stuck in their homes they would release new content for us in red dead redemption 2 online well this footage might prove that something is coming we could have a whole new section to the moonshine shack i hope it comes true here's some crazy footage i'm going to put a link in the description to alva kind's channel do me a favor show her some love give her a sub so her and anaruko walk into the speakeasy it is completely blacked out i have no idea what's going on here for some reason she starts opening fire you got fog just floating around and then there is the door it is a doorway to nothingness she walks right in i'll show you what's supposed to be there in a moment it is pretty much just a wall there is no door but i think that rockstar is planning a separate room we found fishing equipment in the moonshine shack so maybe it has something to do with that there's been rumors that they are going to add legendary animals so perhaps that's a hunting room something could be added right here it looks like there's two doors again normally there's just a wall there is no doors there but they were able to walk through a doorway now this could be cut content maybe it's something that will never be added or it could be an upcoming dlc much love to alva kind for finding this we saw the fishing equipment she actually found two other rooms we cannot gain access to well here is apparently a third I really hope you enjoyed the episode. Hit the like button. It really helps out the video. So here's the wall. There's no doors. Marcel, what are you hiding? So have the doors been removed? Or will they be added in the future? Right now, it just has moonshine jugs covering them up. And of course, here's the speakeasy. No darkness. No smoke. So I have no idea what that's about. Much love again to Alvakind and everybody else who's helped me out. If you guys have any theories, any secrets, Easter eggs anything like that that you want to share with the trippy fam make sure to hit me up on twitter you can hit me up anytime of course you can also put a message in the comments section below so once again guys have a great weekend we're gonna have some big live streams so don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button we got the trippiest family on all of youtube and i hope to see you guys live until next time stay tuned for your trippy commentaries and as always make sure to stay trippy my friends Y'all come back now, you hear?